So you want to know how to UV map, but you don't know the controls. Not a problem. The first thing you need to know is how the UV mapping works in Blender. It's pretty straightforward, drag a new window and set it to UV editor. From this point on, every time you click on an object and go into edit mode, you will see the map coordinates for every face. Now the goal is to organize the map in a way that maximizes area and reduces empty space. We'll talk more about that in the next tutorial, but generally you'll be able to control the faces the same way you would in object mode. When you click on something over here, it will be selected in orange over there. So you can select points, edges, or faces. You can drag select multiple things at the same time. You can hold shift to select multiple things separately. And with these options here, you can move things with this, rotate them like this, and scale them with this. Now, one thing that you probably notice is when you try and move something, it will also move that point in other areas on the map, which is often not very useful. So usually when I work, I select all the specific parts that I'm working on, turn off the arrows, and then make all my adjustments. This way, when you turn the arrows back on, you don't accidentally mess up the other points. Okay, last thing I wanted to show you guys were some useful tools. When you are doing Guilty Gear style shading, your objective is to make things as square as possible. But that's okay because Blender has all the tools you'll ever need to control your UVs in the right click menu. Mirror X flips things sideways, Mirror Y flips things vertically, and if you select multiple points you can align X to get them straight or align Y to get them flat. And each of these can be assigned to a hotkey. So if you right click, you can right click again on any of these tools, assign shortcut, press any key on your keyboard, and from from that point on, every time you press that key, it will activate that tool. I've assigned X and Y to the left and right brackets, and the final tool that you need to know is follow active quads. If you have an even repeating structure and you want to align everything perfectly, find a square in the middle, and what you want to do is make sure that everything is square. So align the top, align the bottom, align the left, align the right, select all the faces, and make sure you select the straight one last, then go to UV, unwrap, and follow active quads. Okay, and you're done. Super simple, nothing to it. Those are all the tools that you need to do Guilty Gear style UV mapping. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.